Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Friday, December the 4th, and it's 8.46 a.m. Well, I would started checking my email, and I thought, this is crazy. Um, our sister Tessa sent me this link on this other recall now because of fires. I thought, well, I've got to report this. I don't want anybody's house burning down. Do you like Dollar Tree? I do. If I could get there, I would get stuff from there. You can even get food from Dollar Tree. Not a very big portion, but, you know, at the end of the month, it would get you through. Well, anyway, listen to this. It's a recall, but before you get to the recall, there's this, mm, it's like a business card size notice. Now, listen to this. Important. CPSC, which I don't know who that is. Consumer Product Safety Recall, maybe? That's a good guess. Let's see. Uh, due to the extraordinary circumstances surrounding COVID-19, some of the remedies identified in recall press releases may not be available at this time. Consumers should check with recalling firms for further details. It is important to remember that CPSC and recalling firms urge consumers not to use recalled products. And I'm to click OK. Now I get the article. United States Consumer Product Safety Commission. Okay, that's what it stands for. Consumer Product Safety Commission. All right. Now, here's the recall. ADCO, A-D-C-O, recalls candles due to fire and burn hazard hazards sold exclusively at Dollar Tree. It looks like a normal votive candle. You can tell this one in the picture. I'll take the picture of this and put it in so you can see. Oh, I bought candles at Dollar Tree. These are not battery operated now. These are the kind you get to burn. Seems like I remember getting to do that one day long time ago. Yeah, we can't do that here. Might set off the fire alarm. Yeah, and then the fire department comes running. They, they need to stop that, really. Which I think they've done. Uh, they've figured out a way to stop the trucks from pulling out. Um, if they can get to the room that's the alarm's going off quick enough, they give them maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't know. But if they can stop the truck from pulling out, then it saves taxpayer dollars a lot of money. Wasted money. All right. The name of the product is... Sure Sense 2 1, or maybe it's Sure Sense 2, one peaceful stream. I have to back up now. Moonlit Waves Candles. Moonlit Waves Candles. Peaceful stream. Moonlit Waves. Candles. So maybe that's two scents, two different scents you can choose from. This particular candle is blue, and underneath it it says, Recalled Sure Sense 2 1 Peaceful Stream slash Moonlit Waves Candle. All right. The candle's high flames can ignite the surface of the wax. Or cause the glass to break, posing fire and burn hazards. Sounds like they tried to use a cheaper wick system, a different kind of wick, and it's 
burning too hot. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay, the remedy is a refund. Recall date, December 2nd. And units, 142,740 were sold. So if you have any of these cheap candles in your house, which they're normally good, uh, I've never gotten a a product from Dollar Tree that I was unhappy with. Love their gifting stuff, holiday stuff. When I used to buy it, you could get so much stuff for around the season. You know, I like to decorate for the different seasons, winter too. And you can just get so much for a dollar. But then you go in there and you think, well, I'm only going to spend $20. <laughs> and you might spend 35 or 40 Anyway, the Dollar Tree Consumer Contact. Okay, if you want to know more, call 1-800-876-8697. From 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday, or online at www.dollartree.com. How easy is that? Dollartree.com. Then on the bottom of the page, under Consumer Service, click Contact Us. Then Company Questions and Answers. And click on Product Recalls in the left column. For more information. Okay, so. It says to instantly stop using them. Contact Dollar Tree for full refund. The firm has received two reports that flame height reached above the glass causing the glass to break. No injuries have been reported. Oh, while I'm doing this, oh, thank you, Jesus. I wanted to tell you all something that happened to me. Okay. First of all, a company that I deal with overcharged me um, $70, which put me in the hole, and the bank charged me 30 I got that took care of, but to prove, I think, I think, to prove to me the devil was after my money, because, you know, when you're on a fixed income, I, I live month to month, you know, except when, when you all, when some very sweet people give me a donation, then it, it makes that month easier for groceries and stuff. And if there's an extra medication that gets ordered or whatever. All right. So I got, woke up from my nap early the other day. Okay. And it was like one o'clock and I should have slept till at least two or two thirty. That's when the alarm goes off at two thirty. Well, I want to turn this I want to show how it was set up. Now, it's a gloomy day today, but it was very sunny. And I had my old glasses sitting right here. Now, let me see if I can show you this. Let me turn this light on because it is so dark out. Now, you see the setup? This is hard to do. The eyeglasses are right next to this checkbook cover right next to a pile of papers right behind it is a box of Kleenex tissues see that and right beside the table is this chair with a throw which I'm pretty sure polyester goes up in a flame okay let me show you I was sitting here drinking my coffee and I saw what I thought was smoke and I thought is that sun so hot that it's giving me the appearance of smoke and I was sitting here watching it and I thought that's not no appearance that is smoke and I pulled the glasses away and they were hot I had to drop them and this is what was smoking 
this checkbook cover can you see this all the way down and it would have reached this paper right here had the Lord not woke me up when he did had it been 10 minutes later if less than that this would have gone ablaze the paper beside it the tissue box pictures behind it probably that throw which would have ruined that chair Satan was stole more now was that a coincidence I just think I'm under attack. I've had glasses sitting on here. I had like four pairs at one time because I was swapping out reading glasses and my old glasses and these glasses sitting down here. They're my most recent pair that were taped up. In case these new ones didn't work, I had, you know, I was trying to use all these glasses. Well, thankfully, these are working fine. I just have to you know get the sweet spot for each kind of thing I'm doing but that was so weird how many people have heard of house burns to the ground due to eyeglasses <laughs> you know those are probably the kind of fires where they're like we can't figure out what started it because they can't the glasses are melted I mean you'd think you'd see the the glass part still sitting there but if everything around it has gone ablaze I mean it's in the rubble down on the floor I don't know how easily glass melts but I thought that was a miracle if nothing else was of God him waking me up was to, to see that before everything went ablaze and that I say praise the Lord hallelujah you know these are just things you know the bills uh, i got some bills in there most of them's on auto debit anyway i almost said autopilot but one of them i have to deal with they gave me a ride home from the er in an ambulance when i asked for a cab now i owe 243 243 dollars i'm refuting it I'll tell them, look, I'll pay part of this, but I'm no way paying all this. When they told me my insurance was, would be filed and they led me to believe that at least part of it would be covered. They didn't say that. They just led me to believe because they said, oh, don't worry, we'll file this with your insurance. Now, wouldn't you think that would mean the insurance is going to pick up at least half? Anyway, I'm done I'm done ranting about that. I'm just so thrilled that the Lord woke me up and spared my stuff. It's not expensive stuff, but it's stuff I need. So anyway, I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video so it'll go up. And over each and every single one of us. Oh, and this shirt, if you want to know, this is one of my sweatshirts I got last year and painted. Live right. Or get left. Yep. And painted some flowers. These I did with a new product I tried. Called fabric paint pens. And they dry up pretty quick. I They don't last very long. So I'm getting me some more of those. I mean Jesus might come before they get here. But we don't know for sure. I have another sweatshirt and my one of uh, my long sleeve t-shirts that I haven't painted on because I don't have enough paint. And I want to paint something real bold, right? Where everybody can see it real easy. Like, I don't know, I'll think about it. Y'all can throw in some suggestions if you want and I'll take them into consideration, okay? So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us, our devices, and our internet connections. Mine's been messing up and I have to plead the blood of Jesus and rebuke demons out of my motherboard and my whole computer and then all of a sudden it starts working. How about that? So don't always assume your computer is messed up. Go the spiritual route first. And then call. 
if you have one of those things like I got. I got Geek Squad. Thanks to one of you giving me the money, I was able to buy my yearly subscription to Geek Squad and Webroot. I could have got just the Webroot. But with the Geek Squad, if my computer gets hacked and they cannot fix it over the phone, they will come to my house for free because I have Geek Squad, but it's $100 a year. I find it very worth it. So, anyway, bye for now, y'all. Have a blessed day. I'm going to try to try to do housework today. So, this is probably going to be my only video. We'll see. I have a hard time standing up for very long. So, that's why I don't get it done very often. And then when I do it, it's too much. So, pray for me. Because I need to get my housework done. Don't we need to keep our houses in order too? Yeah, I think we're supposed to. Okay, bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.